Um, Nate, we've seen this team continue to be resilient throughout several games so far this season, but I know that one of the big goals is playing a full 48 minutes. So what happened there in the fourth quarter that kind of turned it into uh, the Pelicans' favor? Yeah, I like the way we played for 44 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, then that, that, that last uh, four minutes, last four or five minutes, uh, we gave up a few, couple offensive rebounds uh, off the free throw line. Uh, we had uh, a couple situations where uh, we fouled, gave them M ones, mm -hmm. uh, and then we didn't execute. Uh, you know, some of the uh, uh, plays in uh, the last five minutes and in overtime, but. We found a way to win, you know. So I, I, I would much rather us correct these mistakes off of a win mm -hmm. than to drop that game because I thought we played really good basketball uh, for about 40, about 44, 43 minutes, and then the last five minutes we just started to have some breakdowns. Uh, but they found a way to uh, uh, get us into overtime. I thought DJ had a big shot mm -hmm. and. Uh, to uh, carry us into overtime, and then uh, overtime we was able to you know stretch the lead and uh, eventually win the game. Coach, there were a number of performances you could point to, but what can you say about season high for Clint in both points and rebounds tonight? How how were you able to take advantage of him? In other words, that's the Clint we need. You know, that's that is the Clint that uh, you know uh, we need out on the floor, uh, rebounding the balls, uh, controlling uh, the boards, uh, you know, defending the paint. And, uh, you know, he was big all night long uh, tonight, not only uh, rebounding, but, uh, you know, defending the paint, you know, up on the pick and rolls uh, when Ingram and McCollum was uh, just really active uh, all night long. But, uh, you know, th these are the numbers that we, we saw for Clint two years ago, and these are the numbers that we need to continue to see from. Tonight was a was a great atmosphere. How did you feel about um, the atmosphere tonight, and how do you feel that nights like Divine Nine Night helped the Hawks connect with that uh, community? Well, you know, our fans are great. Uh, you know, they are always uh, bringing the energy. You know, I, I always say that it's up to us to um, uh, make sure that we give them something to cheer about. And, uh, you know, but, you know, our fans have always been great and, and having fun and loud and, uh, you know, supportive. And, uh, you know, I thought we gave them, you know, something to cheer for. Uh, throughout this game and you know when you have us playing well and our fans doing their their thing uh, It makes for a tough building to come in and play in. Thank you. Coach you talked about the first 44 minutes you all played well Especially defensively you were going back to the New York game. What have you noticed changed since then how it's turned up? Well, you know we keep talking about it and you know we, we looked at our numbers um, here recently in the first eight games and numbers weren't good, you know, as far as us fouling, defending with the, uh, you know, sending teams to the free throw line 27 times, uh, not rebounding the basketball. And, you know, we talked about those numbers and we showed our guys those numbers. We have to be better uh, than that. It's going to be difficult to win games if we continue to uh, give opponents 27 free throws, 50 plus points in the paint, uh, 14, 15 plus fast break points, 14 offensive plus offensive rebound. If you're giving a, a team uh, that many uh, bullets, it's going to be tough to win. So uh, tonight they, they accept the challenge and uh, defensively uh, they got after it against a really good team. This is a team that uh, puts three guys that scores 20 on the floor. Uh, that's certainly a challenge, and um, I thought our guys, you know, from start, uh, you know, did a good job of making them work and making them earn over the top of us. Nate, uh, DeJounte is often a guy who's not happy with performances, even when the Hawks do get a win. What did you kind of see out of him, triple-double tonight, but also uh, just to start that overtime period, it kind of felt like he was, he was taking over things. Well, you know, he, he has that about him. You know, I'm, I'm learning that... Uh, you know, there. When the game uh, is close and tight, he wants the ball, and uh, he has shown uh, in this short season that uh, he's a playmaker. He can create, and I think both he and Trey are doing a really good job of taking advantage of matchups, uh, understanding uh, plays to call, 
uh, out on the floor to get the matchup that we want, uh, whether it is uh, Trey or DJ or DeAndre or, or John. You know, tonight uh, we, we really uh, try to uh, take advantage of, uh, of Zion and put him in the pick and rolls. And I thought they did a good job of uh, executing you know, targets that we wanted out on the floor. Coach Jalen Judson, he scored a double digit tonight. Um, what's your thoughts on his performance? He had a really good game. I, I, I thought uh, young fella did a nice job stepping in. Uh, our matchup at the beginning of the game was Oyeka on Zion, and that wasn't working. I think uh, Zion went to the basket you know, a couple times easy, and we switched uh, Jalen on, uh, on Williams, and I thought he did a really nice job of uh, just staying in front of him and making him go over the top. Forced two turnovers uh, pretty quickly. Uh, t you know, offensively, uh, he was able to make some shots, get to the rim. So I thought, I thought he gave us solid minutes, uh, you know, coming off the bench tonight. Coach, what did you say about the John Collins? I think only two points until late in the game, and then uh, it's two clutch baskets, including that three point in overtime. Yeah, I thought he just stayed with it. You know, uh, you know, sometimes uh, he gets lost out there in the sense that we're not we're not seeing him uh, there. I think there are some times when he has some guys on his back, and uh, you know we got to drop we got to drop the ball when we have uh, those matchups. But that's a read from our guards uh, that uh, we have to read where we have uh, the advantage, and then we have to try to take advantage of that. But I thought John stayed with it. Uh, that was a huge three late in the game. You know, a lot of times guys take themselves out of the game when they're not getting the touch. And, uh, you know, they don't take or won't make that shot. Uh, John stayed with it and uh, knocked down a big shot for us. Hey, Coach, it was reported that uh, Trey Young had a calf contusion midway through the fourth quarter. Um, what was the conversation like that he ended, obviously finished the game and finished at uh, overtime? What was that conversation? Did he ask to come back in the game? Did you ask him to get back in the game? What he's a about? tough kid. I mean, uh, Trey is about as he's, he's as tough as I've I've seen. Um, you know, he had the eye injury uh, in New York, and um, he comes back in that game, and I look at him, and you know, looking at him uh, through eye protection, and I can't see if his eyes open. So I had to look at him again, and uh, he wanted to go back in the game, and he's like, I can see, I can see, coach. So we put him back in the game. It was the same thing tonight. He did have a contusion uh, where he went to the back, and uh, I got the report that he may not return. You know, this was about, I think, seven, about seven, eight minutes to go in the game. And, uh, you know, so all of a sudden I see him on the bench, and uh, he says that he can go. You know, I ask him, can he go? He's like, yeah, I can go. I can go. He goes out there and he plays. You know, so he's he's a he's a he's a tough, tough kid. And uh, if he can if he can get out there and walk and move, uh, he's going to play. And uh, you know, I've, I've seen that since I've been here with Trey. Both DJ and, and Trey combined for uh, twenty one of the twenty eight team assists. I mean, does it feel like they're starting to click a little bit more, and the chemistry is kind of trickling down to the rest of the team? Yeah, it's, I think it's coming. It's going to get better. Um, you know, I thought tonight, I thought Trey did a really good job of putting everybody in their spots and calling plays and calling sets and, you know, uh, you know, getting guys involved. And, uh, you know, he did most of the play calling tonight uh, when he was out on the floor. And, um, you know, that's what I want uh, from, uh, you know, uh, from Trey. Uh, you know, I think that's growth. Uh, and when he can manage the game like that, you know, just take advantage of matchups that's out there, uh, uh, that's going to be good for us, you know, because it just shows he's involved, he's in tune to what's going on out there, and I thought he did a good job of putting guys in their spots. All right, thanks, Coach.